With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Two opposite angles of a rhombus are 60 degree each. If the length of each side of the rhombus is 8 cm, then find the length of the diagonals of the rhombus. Now, two opposite angles of a rhombus are 60 degree each and length of each side of the rhombus is 8 cm. We have to find the length of the diagonals, of the two diagonals. So now we will draw a rhombus, let's suppose this will be the rhombus or we will draw with this let's suppose this is a rhombus now we can say that let's suppose if we will name this a b c d now we will draw the diagonals we will draw the diagonals diagonal AC and diagonal BD. Now we know that now we know that each side is of 8 centimeter. We also know that the opposite angles are of 60 degrees. So let's suppose this angle this angle is 60 degree and this angle also is 60 according to the question now according to the question that is angle a is equal to angle c is equal to 60 degree now diagonals ac and bd diagonals as we know that diagonal in intersect each other at 90 degree so now we can say that diagonals intersect each other in rhombus we can say that we'll write down diagonals AC and BD bisects each other at 90 degree and let's suppose this is point M so this will be so MCD will be equal to 30 degree and DMC DMC will also be DMC is equal to DMC is 90 degree so MCD will be 30 degree and so we can write this as we know that this inter, uh, this bisects this word ties so this this angle will be equal to 30 degree now we can write this as angle mcd is equal to 30 degree so we can write sine 30 is equal to as we know sine is perpendicular by hypotenuse so perpendicular is perpendicular is this line and hypotenuse will be this line so now we can write this as sine 30 will be equal to mc by dc as we know mc will be equal to mc will be equal to dc by 2 because we know the value of sin 30 is equal to 1 by 2 so will so as we know the value of dc is 8 so it will be 8 by 2 it is equal to 4 centimeter so now again md again md is equal to this will be equal to as we know that we have to find MD as we know that this is a right angle triangle so perpendicular plus base is equal to hypotenuse or we, uh, Pythagoras theorem so according to Pythagoras theorem 
we can find the value of md so md will be equal to md will be equal to under root of h square h square is equal to dc square minus perpendicular is mc so mc square so we know the value of mc is equal to 4 centimeter so under root dc is equal to 8 centimeter so 8 square minus 4 square so we can write this as 64 minus 16 will be equal to will be equal to 64 minus 16 will be uh, 48 so under root 48 so md will be equal to md will be equal to 48 now we know that the bd is equal to 2 of md bd is equal to 2 of md so we can write this as 2 into under root 48 under root 48 can be written as so we can write this as 8 6 or we can write as 2 into 24 2 za or 8 6 za so or we can write this as 64 minus 16 so 2 under root 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 so this 2 will and this 2 will come outside so 2 into 2 into 2 under root 3 so we can write this as 8 root 3 centimeter so diagonal diagonal bd is equal to 8 centimeter 8, 8 root 3 centimeters so this will be equal to 8 root 3 centimeter now we got the value of we got the value of bd now we have to calculate calculate ac so now we will calculate the value of md we got the value of mc so the value of mc was 4 centimeter so according as these angle bisect each other so ac will be 2 of as we know ac is equal to 2 of mc so 2 into the value of mc is 4 centimeter so it will be 8 centimeters so, so the two diagonals the value of the length of two diagonals the length of two diagonals are 8 root 3 centimeter and 8 centimeter thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today